moving now to peach tree borers. Uh, we have in New York two peach tree borers. One is called uh, the lesser peach tree borer, and the other is just called the peach tree borer. Uh, lesser peach tree borer attacks both cherries and peaches. Uh, and uh, these are um, very, well, they, they can be a very a big challenge uh, if, if you've never dealt with them before, but in fact, they're quite manageable. Um, you can, there's good pheromones out there for monitoring for them. Uh, if you want to check when they start to fly, lesser peach tree borer comes out earlier, uh, around the beginning of May in Western New York, probably a little bit later in the Champlain Valley. Um, you can also uh, check uh, cankers and injury sites on your scaffold branches for larval infestations. You'll see mixed in with the gomosis of these sites, you'll see some uh, sawdust uh, looking frass that's caused by lesser peach tree borer. Um, it's not really much of a threshold, basically, if you find any, um, and most, most peaches do ultimately get some. Um, so it's a good idea to be proactive against these. Fortunately, we have a very good option uh, for management of uh, peach tree borers. Uh, this is probably the poster child for uh, suitability for using uh, mating disruption in the fruit insect world. Uh, the lesser peach tree borer is so susceptible and sensitive to its sex pheromone that you can basically rely on uh, pheromones uh, to the exclusion of everything else. Okay, we used to have to rely on trunk sprays of insecticides. Uh, it's all, that's always been difficult to do, to implement, and uh, it never worked quite as well. Uh, but this product, Isomate PTP, PTB Dual, um, marketed by CBC America, uh, is available. And if you get these, uh, these are twist ties. If you get these ties out there uh, before the first flight, um, which, as I said, starts in early May, can, can be uh, uh, up until mid-May, at about 150 per acre, um, you will essentially uh, eliminate um, the, the threat from most of these peach tree borers. Uh, alternatively, there remains uh, uh, materials you can use as trunk sprays, preventive trunk sprays, if you so desire. Um, uh, instead, uh, Lors band can still be used. Uh, it can be used once per, per year, and uh, that, that's a pretty good um, option. It works very well against peach tree borers. Uh, you know, making applications to the trunk is uh, very, fairly onerous and uh, time consuming. Uh, pyrethroids are also available um, that can be used as trunk sprays. If you're using py pyrethroid, they don't last quite as long as Lorsman, and so you'd have to use basically three sprays in order to do the best job. Uh, one in June, one in July, and one in August, sort of at, at, the, at the beginnings of the month. Uh, the regular peach tree borer looks similar. Uh, these are both clear wing moths. They look sort of like wasps, at their, but they're moths. Um, and uh, as uh, as our um, lesser peach tree borers, the, uh, the, the females are attracted to uh, areas of uh, injury or, or cankers, like cytosporic canker. Uh, the, the one difference in peach tree borers is that uh, they're fairly, uh, their attacks are confined to low on the tree. Um, basically about the first 10 inches of the trunk above the ground, and they actually also uh, can attack the, the, the crown and underneath uh, the soil surface for several inches. Whereas lesser peach tree borer attack all along the trunk and up into the scaffold branches. So if you see things up in the scaffolds, uh, it's probably a lesser. And uh, we don't generally tend to have as large a population of this species um, as for lesser peach tree borers. Uh, they're, they're more problematic in the, in the warmer regions of the state, such as the Hudson Valley. Uh, Preventive methods, um, people have used um, a dipping, pre-plant dipping of the roots and crowns in an insecticide solution. Lors band does remain um, uh, labeled for that use. It tends to provide a, a level of protection to the newly uh, set trees for a couple of years. Uh, but once again, this same pheromone product, PTB Dual, uh, also disrupts uh, this species. Uh, and as I say, um, uh, you know, if you get the if you get the dispensers out before the first flight, which for this species is a little later, 
uh, by late May, they'll be starting to fly. Uh, you'll, you'll be covering uh, the basis with this insect, both insects. Alternatively, there are the trunk sprays that are available. And I'm just showing you this little bit of uh, data from a study I did back in 2000. Uh, basically, the pink and the orange uh, lines are undisrupted blocks where we had uh, you know, lots of uh, peach tree borers uh, flying uh, and, and lesser peach tree borers. And uh, all of the disrupted blocks were down here, the purple. You can see they're all zero. I didn't catch any. I think one day I caught one moth. Uh, one one year uh, in, in these blocks. And so it, this is what you want to see for mating disruption. It's just complete and total trap shutdown of the insects, just to show you how effective it is.